restocked with full supplies of tequila. <laughs> um, I brought one of those home with me. You got to, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, no, illegal if you don't. What's that? It might be illegal not to. Yes, exactly, exactly. I don't know that I need another bottle of tequila, but it made it home with me. So we'll save that for one of these days where we Make need sure to wait and balance is right on that airplane. Yeah, get wild and on planet Brad. No, Tony, I loved how you were talking about just at the very, you know, are you living in the past? You living in the future? Um, or and then I would just add to that, or are you stuck in the now? Which is exactly what Victoria and Ed were just talking about. And then it made me think of just I can, it's you know, um, our, our our friend Glenn is now one of those guys that I wake up every day and I hear his voice talking to me. And it's like, do things happen to you or do things happen for you? And you say that a lot too, Tony. I don't know who quoted it. Um, but I don't know for whatever reason today, the 80s video games hit me as kind of an analogy to share this topic. And it, it's like Pac-Man. If you go back into the 80s, when I was a kid, we used to, me and my buddy used to be at the bowling alley and we would have crowds of 20 kids around us screaming and yelling. We were both playing Pac-Man and we knew the patterns and we would get so high up in the game. Like we'd be there playing for like an hour and there were patterns to every level. And once you started lear learning the patterns, you just kept getting more and more successful and farther in the game, getting your name on the scoreboard. Does anybody remember that back in the 80s, how much fun that was? So you know, and, and here it is. I, I say, are you playing for fun? Because we... But you know what? The only thing I disagree with that is you said you were playing for like an hour. You're so full of it. You were playing that for hours. It, oh, dude, it was hours. We were there all afternoon on like a quarter. <laughs> on a quarter. Uh, so... You were good. And I think I mentioned here... Uh, oh, gosh. It was back... I think it was two seasons. Well, it was actually during uh, COVID... I had won tailgater of the year, virtual tailgater of the year in Kansas City for the Kansas City Chiefs. It's like one of our radio stations. We did a whole thing out in the driveway with the fire pit, had the big screen outside watching a Sunday night game. And I just turned the picture in because they were the radio station was doing some contest. And I won this $4,000 trip to the high end video game store and got one of those old, uh, old, old uh, 80s games that has like Pac-Man, Centipede, all that stuff. And it's like when you're playing the game, I, I've watched people play this game with me and they're so frustrated. My, my grandson, Tucker, he'll play and he's like, oh, every time he gets killed, he can't even make it past the first level. And it's like people are just like, man, I just want to get past the first level. You always get past the first level and the second level and the third level. So like, are you playing your life that way? Are you playing for fun? Right. So like a lot of people would say, and I know all the video games today, you can download all the patterns, all the finishing runs, how to win every single game. You've got books. Kids are buying books on these things. You can download on Google the actual pattern to win Pac-Man to play for hours and hours and hours. So I can get all that. And then some people say, well, that's cheating. OK, so if that's cheating and you're playing the first level and can't get past it and then you're getting mad because you keep getting killed and it's like, I just want to clear one level. It's like somebody's been there. They've done that. They're showing you how to get past the first level. So I started thinking about all that stuff and how you compare it to life. But my favorite one was Dragon's Lair. Oh, my gosh. This was the first DVD game ever. You had to know the pattern or you could not play the game. And I spent, I remember spending like $50 in quarters back in the 80s, or maybe it was like early, it was, it was late, late 80s. I'm a, yeah, there it is, Christopher. I would, I probably spent $50 figuring out the pattern. I'd put a quarter in and I'd go, yep, I know this one's left, that one's right, that one's left, and ah, oh, dead. This one's left, that one's right, that one's up. Oh, yeah, up is it. All right. And I would waste four quarters to figure out it was either up, left, right, or down. And once I started figuring out those patterns, man, I'm telling you what, I would go in it, and the game was so fun knowing exactly what to do. So here's the thing with life. You can play these games however you want, but if you're getting frustrated because you can't clear the first, the next level, I mean, somebody else has a freaking path for you. So if you're getting frustrated, now, if you're enjoying the game the way you are and you walk away from that and you, you know, 
spent five minutes and a quarter and you had a blast, then great. Don't go look for the pattern. Just enjoy your life where you are. So anyway, I don't know how the analogy of the whole video game thing came up today, but I can, I have just, I, I probably have 10 times more fun knowing the pattern and getting as far as I can go. And even though somebody may say I'm cheating because I have the path, I still can't, I don't know the path the first time. I have to play the game another hundred times using the path to make it through the level. So anyway, even if you have the path, you're still playing the game and it's just keeping you sharp and it's giving you a little direction. So anyway, there you go. My, my 80s video game analogy for today. Love it. And you know what? It is about pattern recognition. It is about knowing the right way, which again, this is why you get a, a, a strategist, a mentor, someone who's been an advisor, someone who's been where you want to be, where you want to go, that's going to help you get there. What, you know, a good life and business strategist or coach is going to help get you there. That, that person that's going to hold you accountable and knows the steps to take, knows the patterns, right? Pattern recognition is everything in life. Some, life isn't going well. Well, pay attention. Why not? What's different? What are you doing different today than you did last week, last month? What are you doing different today than you did five years ago? What do you, What are other people that are winning the game that you want to win, living the life that you want to live? What game? What pattern are they running in their life to get them to the outcome? That they want to get because it is about all about pattern recognition going back to that video game analogy which is fantastic you know what what is it that you're you know what's the pattern that you're running in your life now what needs to change in order for you to win the game because if you're yeah, you may have a pattern we all have patterns we're creatures of habit is the pattern that you're running serving you or is it screwing you right because instead of going left if you go right just because you think it should be right but that's wrong or if you're running the pattern for uh, for level two on level one, or you're running the pattern for level five, that's a much harder a much harder game to play at level five. But you're running that pattern on level one. Guess what? You're going to lose on level one, right? So uh, thanks for the analogy, and I and I, I I use the video game analogy a lot. Um, when I talk about the different levels of life and how every other level of your life is going to demand a different version of you. And we learn what we need to learn on that next level of life. We learn that on the current level we're on. And you're not going to get to the next level of life until you master the one that you're on, until you learn the lessons that this level of your life is trying to teach you. And sometimes even just having that awareness, that realization, even that's a big aha moment. It was an aha moment for me when I started really di diving into it. The next level of your life is going to demand a new level of you. But you must learn in this level what you need for the next level. Because if you don't learn it, if you don't learn how to turn quickly, how to pivot, how to what to go after, if you don't know that eating that big flashing red, uh, yellow, whatever, white, ball turns your enemies blue so then you can go eat your enemies and pack that and if you don't have the pattern recognition of knowing how they move and what happens then you're not going to win the game you must learn the moves in this level so you can take them to the next and the easiest fastest way to do it is to get patterns and if you don't know those patterns you don't have those patterns well that's when you hire someone like me or Brad or, you know, some of the other amazing people that come through here or Jason Cisneros for your business or whatever it is, because there's patterns. We recognize those patterns. We've seen them. We've been there and we know what they look like. We know how to apply them. So thank you for that. Uh, I know that was a, a big uh, I jumped in big on the end of your conversation there, Brad. But that, that was something that I just wanted to press and uh, and really reinforce and have people understand and see that pattern recognition is everything. You can shortcut the process by learning from those who already been where you are or living in, in, in the life that you want to live, playing at the level you want to play because you can, 
you can shortcut that because you don't have to pay the dumb tax. You can pay to have somebody teach you so you can avoid the dumb tax. And God knows I have paid my share of dumb tax. Holy crap. And I'm sure I'm not done paying. Right? Uh, because the toughest lessons, the best lessons we learn are the ones that we learn the hard way. So 